High Garden is the mighty seat of House Tyrell, Lords Paramount of the Reach, and the heart of chivalry in Westeros. Situated on the banks of the slumbering river Manda, High Garden rises like a marble monolith amongst fields of golden roses. Three ringed curtain walls, each one thicker and taller than the last, surround the pleasure palace within. High Garden was built by the legendary Garth the Gardener, cementing itself as the epicenter of power within the Reach since the Age of Heroes. Mighty were House Gardener, with the most notable houses of the Reach claiming descendants from his mythical sons and daughters. However, a strong lineage and deep roots mean little to a dragon, as House Gardener and all of Westeros would come to understand when Aegon the Conqueror claimed the Seven Kingdoms as his own. A shrewd steward of House Tyrell surrendered High Garden to Aegon and his sisters, King Myrne Gardener, a charred corpse on the field of fire. For this act, Aegon granted House Tyrell dominion over the Reach and all its attendant lands and lords. The Tyrells have grown wealthy and powerful as the lords of High Garden, much to the irritation of the more ancient houses of the Reach. High Garden sits atop a hill at the confluence of two great roads of Westeros, the Rose Road and the Ocean Road. The gentle currents of the great river Manda wind past en route to the Sunset Sea. Three towering curtain walls surround the central spires of High Garden, each one taller than the last. The outermost ring surrounds not a moat or battlements, but a hedge maze, a delightful retreat from courtly intrigues, or an impenetrable labyrinth for would-be attackers. The castle sept, the sept of summer, awash with the kaleidoscopic light of its stained glass, is matched in its splendor only by the great sept of Baylor at the capital, and the starry sept to the south. The godswood of High Garden is paramount in the Seven Kingdoms for its beauty. No house, great or small, can boast of three weirwoods in its ground. It is said that Garth the Gardener himself nurtured the weirwoods so that he could pray to his gods. The nucleus of High Garden is the keep itself. Squat towers from the Age of Heroes sit along the towering spires of the Andals, topped with fluttering banners of green and gold. Each shaded courtyard and sun-soaked terrace a riot of colour with its climbing plants and fruit trees. One could be forgiven for forgetting the troubles of a war-torn Westeros in such a place. However, each rose betrays a biting thorn beneath. 